No, yeah, I was just going to ask him. Mean, it's obviously a bummer for the whole defense. What the news with Grady? Just what what does he mean to this team, and what's it going to be like? You know, not having him out. Yeah, everybody knows what Grady means. Uh, he's been the foundation for this defense for a long time, and. Uh, it's going to be tough, but everybody has to stay positive. We're telling him to stay positive. So for us, we got to do the same thing. We got to just understand that we got to step up and make more plays for him. Is he doing all right if you've had a chance to talk to him? It seems like he was right back out on the field in the second half cheering you guys on. I mean, is he, is he doing okay? Oh, yeah, that's Grady, man. Um, Grady's going to be Grady. So it's just another test for him. And I mean, I, I expect him to do great. I know you can't replace him, but what can you do to try to sort of minimize his loss? So. Uh, just it's time for guys to step up. Um, we we have a deep team. We have guys that can come in and make plays. So it's just time for everybody to step up and make plays. This is kind of a, a precarious time for you guys. I mean, you lose him. Nobody really knows Dez and his health right now. He's coming off a tough loss. Yeah. How as a team do you sort of sort of come together and move on from this point? Yeah, just like I said, it's a test for Grady. I mean, it's a test for us as a team. Um, it, it's football. Injuries happen. Things happen throughout the season, but it's a long season, and that's why we put in the work. That's why it's not just one guy. It's a team. What, how do I know you guys are early, probably haven't even started yet, but how did things change without they had a quarterback that was playing about as good as anybody? How did things change preparing for the Vikings, not knowing what they'll do? Um, yeah, that's that's the that's the game, man. It's tough. I hate injuries. Um, I hate it for him. And But next guy up mentality, I'm sure they have somebody who's going to come in, ready to play, make plays. Uh, it's the NFL. So if you're starting quarterback, whether no matter how you got there, you're pretty talented. Like anybody, you know, you work so hard, you know, to put that product out here. It's it's kind of hard when, you know, you go down, you know, unexpectedly on a play that you felt like it would have been nothing. But he's, uh, you know, he's definitely a trooper. You know, he's somebody that I definitely counted on, you know, from a leadership standpoint, but as well as a friendship. So it definitely was tough to, you know, see him get that news. But uh, I think he's doing pretty well, you know, ex you know, with the news that he got and everything, I think. He'll just do everything, you know, the right way to get back. Been kind of following that uh, rotation with you and Alex McCaff. <laughs> it's mm -hmm. been a lot back there, back in the month. Now, um, if you all can put, can they put more on your plate now? You feel you can do a little bit more to help out? Um, if they come your way with the snaps? Yeah, I definitely hope they put more on my plate. But, uh, you know, uh, whatever coach rolls with is what I'm going to roll with. And I'm going to do my best to go out there and, you know, uh, and put in that effort, put in that, you know, work for the team, mm -hmm. uh, just whatever they throw at me. Have they said anything to any of you guys in terms of expect different rotations, expect more snaps for certain situations? Uh, no, not really, not yet. We really just reviewed the game today and everything that, you know, was going on in the game. We haven't talked about anything that's going to happen in the future. You, you basically last year got hurt and Grady was really helpful to you. Is that something that you guys can then do for him? Or is it, you know, he's an old enough guy that you kind of, you know, he knows what he's doing. And like yeah, I think he's a... Uh... I think he is an old enough guy that he's seen guys go through it before. I think he might have his own process when it comes to it. But, you know, I think we all need to, you know, gather around him and show him, you know, support, of course. You know, not just from the football standpoint, but, you know, as I mentioned before, the friendship standpoint and really be there for him, you know, emotionally and anything that he needs. As someone who's been through this um, before, you know, like what's the key from a mental standpoint to grind your way through it? I think, you know, staying positive and knowing that it's a step by step process that you're not going to get better overnight. You're not going to get better, you know, a couple months from now. It's going to be something that's going to, you know, take a while and there's going to be ups and downs and you got to be able to recognize it and see it and know that it's, it's, it's a process and there's going to be downs to it and always keeping your head up and always pushing forward, I think is the key.